Why your Windows computer is running slow. There's many things that can cause your computer to slow down. It could be programs running in the background, such as malware, or legitimate helper programs that are just running in the background waiting to do something for you or check for drivers or, or things like that. Another reason is your power options where you've actually set it to save power and reduce the computer's performance in doing so. Other reasons could be disk space, uh, if you're just having slow browser, could be browser related. So the first one we're gonna touch on, which is the most common, is malware. So when you notice your computer's running slow, you need to check for malware. So there's a lot of free programs. I like Malware Bytes. Uh, it is free. You can get the pro version that runs in the background, but again, that's something else that you have running in the background. A lot of the antivirus scanners also check for malware, but I still find if I run this once in a while, it picks up things the other one didn't. Another common issue with uh, malware and antivirus is they conflict with each other. You shouldn't have more than one antivirus running. Uh, antivirus programs are like kids. They'll fight over who gets to do it. And if one beats the other one, the other program gets confused and actually tells you it can clean it and that might confuse you thinking that you're infected and you're not. So you only need one program doing it to avoid conflict or confusion between the two programs. But I do like running this one on its own after, just as a one-time scan if I notice it's running slow. And after you scan, make sure it's up to date first. It's going to give you a list of what it found. You need to briefly scan through that because uh, it might actually end with any antivirus since those programs are made for deleting stuff from your computer or removing stuff. Give it a quick scan and make sure it's not removing something you don't want it to remove. Usually it's pretty good though. So once your machine is clean, if it finds things, it's probably going to ask you to reboot. Run it again after rebooting until it doesn't find anything. Once you've finished scanning for viruses with your antivirus software and malware with a malware software, you need to look at programs you have running in the background. These are programs that might be checking for driver updates or just waiting for you to use them. A lot of these you don't need running in the background. You can start them when you want to use them. So let's look at your startup tab. So in newer versions of Windows, right click on your taskbar and choose Task Manager. Then go to the Startup tab. In older versions of Windows, click on your Start button and go into Run. And type in msconfig. Go to the Startup tab. This is empty on newer versions of Windows, but older versions will have the list that newer versions have in the Task Manager. So it's going to list the programs that you're telling to start when you turn on your computer. You need to make sure you don't disable your antivirus or software you actually want running. It could be chat programs or, or things like that. What you can disable are other programs such as Download Assistant or uh, iTunes Helper. These programs, when you actually want to use the program, you would just run the program. You don't need them running in the background all the time. You don't need them constantly looking for driver or program updates. Disabling a program here does not remove it. If you're not sure what these programs are, you can Google individual programs or you can Google a startup database and you can look up what these programs are. So for example, with iTunes Helper, I could either type in iTunes Helper or right click and go to properties and actually get the file that's running. Copy it, paste it into the database or into Google, and do a search. It will then tell me what this program does and its recommendation, whether or not you should be running it to turn it off or it's up to you. So once you've disabled the program here, it just means it's not going to start at boot up. It is still gonna be installed on your machine. And if you find that you miss it, and you want it running in the background, you can always come back in here and enable it. Then next time you boot your machine, it is will kind of come back on. But if you have a really long list here, just think that all these programs are running in the background. 
So you need to decide whether or not the benefit of these programs is worth what they're using up on your machine. Not all of these programs will have huge impact, uh, but you're just going to have to use trial and error. But if you're having issues with speed, a good test is to disable them. Reboot and see if that speeds it up. Just make sure if you did disable your antivirus that you enable it again. And if you found it was causing the problem, that you reinstall it. Some of the programs that have the biggest impact are things like Steam running in the background, um, Skype. Again, you need to decide whether or not you want them running all the time, if you're actually using them all the time, or if when you want them running or when you actually want to use them, you start the program manually. You may notice there's programs showing up that you're not recognizing, either here or in the malware scan. A lot of those come from programs that you're installing, installing other programs. Example of this with Adobe, automatically it's going to check that you're going to install this as well. So right now, if I click install now, it's going to install the reader program as well as this optional offer. And an even better example is some programs actually have full screens and make you think that you're trying to install that actual program. So with this program, it is listing the program I think I want to install, and I choose Accept. But then it opens another window with another Accept or Decline. And it does say that program I wanted at the top, but if you actually read the offer, it's going to install something else. So I'm going to decline that. Very deceptive. And then another one. Top listing the program I want. Unless I read it, I'm going to actually be installing these two additional programs. So I'm going to decline that as well. So anytime you're installing software, you need to, before accepting, understand what it's saying. Because in that example, there was two screens for two softwares I didn't want that I easily could have mistaken as the original download and installed them. Another thing that can cause your machine to slow down are your power options. So you can go through the control panel of any Windows operating system and go into power options. Windows 10, you can just right click on the start menu button and choose power options. Basically has three settings, power saver, balance, and high performance. So you can think of these as walk, jog and run. If you just want to use a little bit of energy, you can walk. That means everything's not going to move as fast as it could be. Balance is kind of a mixed, but if you need fast, all your processors running, you need to be on high performance. If you're on a laptop, it's going to eat up a lot of battery, or if you're plugged in, it's going to consume more power. So another thing that can cause your machine to slow down is that there's not enough disk space or you have too much browser cache. So you can do a disk cleanup. Just by clicking on search, type in disk cleanup, choose the disk cleanup with the desktop app option, choose the drive you want to clean up. It's going to search and see what's available to, to be cleaned up. And you can either uncheck or leave it checked. So right now if I ran this, it would free up just from temporary internet files over a gig of space on my hard drives. Once you've cleaned up your drive, it's a good idea to run the defrag program on it. You can get to that just through search, defragment, and optimize drives. You can also get to it through the start program in older versions through all programs, accessories, system. Choose a drive you want to defragment. You can actually run an analyze to show you how badly it's fragmented, or you can just choose to optimize it. You can also set this program to run, say, when you're not using your computer, if you leave it on all the time. Um, it'll run overnight as well. If you go into change settings, you can set up a schedule. If you're still finding your computer slow, it could be that your profile or part of it's corrupt. You can try creating a new user on the computer, logging in as that user, and see if you're still experiencing slowness. Other things it could be is memory or some of the parts have gone bad on the machine. Didn't really touch on individual programs here. Browsers have individual settings, so those will have to be done separately. Uh, other programs as well have different settings you can change. If there's something you want to hear about, uh, just comment below.